Hi everyone, my name is Tony. In today's video, we're gonna look at meetings in Microsoft Teams. And we're gonna look at how to schedule a meeting, look at the meeting options, and what you can do during a meeting, right after this. If you want to learn how to master Microsoft and other useful applications, then by clicking subscribe and hitting the bell, we'll put you on the right path. So to set up a meeting, you can either do it within the channel itself by clicking meet, or if I want to schedule a meeting, I can just click on the drop down and schedule a meeting. Another way you can do it, and this is the way I prefer, is by going to the calendar on the left hand side. And then from here, I can click new meeting. You've got all the fields that you would expect when setting up a meeting. So you've got things like the title, you can add people, you can add the start date and end date. You can set it up as a recurring appointment. You've also got a scheduling assistant. But what sets this apart from your standard meetings is that you can add it to a channel. Now the advantage of adding it to a channel is that everyone that's part of that team will get a notification about the meeting and then they can choose to accept or reject that appointment. It also helps to keep everything in one place because there'd be a record of that meeting within the channel itself. And let me show you. So I'm just gonna start by completing these fields. And if I click add channel, this will give me a list of all the teams that I'm a member of. So let's go to the team I created earlier. And this will only show me the channels that are public in that team. So it won't show any private channels. So I'm gonna pop this one into PowerPoint. Now, if I did want to add any people that were outside that team, then I can, I just put in their details here. So that's all the required fields completed. So I'm just gonna click send. Just to show you how it looks within the channel itself, let's have a look at that now. So if I go to Teams, then in the PowerPoint channel, there's the meeting there. So it keeps it as a record within posts. Before we join this meeting, let me show you the meeting options that are available. So I'm gonna go back to the calendar. I'm gonna click on the appointment. Let's go to edit. So let's have a look at the meeting options. And the meeting options is only available after you've set up the meeting. So let's click here and it will open up into a browser window. The first option is in relation to the lobby. So a lobby is like a virtual waiting room. So what you can do is you can set it up that people will end up waiting in this virtual waiting room as you're getting set up in the meeting. And then the idea is that you could admit them into your meeting when you're ready. So for this example, I'm gonna say only me. So only I can bypass the lobby. So I'm gonna make everyone wait until I'm ready. Another option you've got here is you can get Microsoft Teams to announce when people leave or join the meeting. Now personally, I find that distracting when I'm working with larger groups, but it's up to you if you wanna switch it on, it's just a matter of clicking on that switch. But sometimes it's useful to know when someone has left the meeting. The other option you've got here is who is the presenter? So by default, everyone is, which means that everyone has the controls, so they can mute everyone, they can remove people, they can share their desktop. So if you wanna control that a bit more, by clicking here, you can either choose people from your organization, so everyone in your organization will be the presenter, you can specify people, or you can select only me. And you can amend this during the meeting itself, and I will show you how in a moment. So let's click save. So to join this meeting, obviously I can click join here, but the other options you've got, you've got the link or you can dial in to this meeting as well. For this example, I'm gonna click join. And I've got options here to put my web camera or to unmute myself, but I'm just gonna click join now. And it comes up to show me that Ron Burgundy is waiting in the lobby. So Ron is waiting in that virtual waiting room I told you about. So I've got the option here to admit him now if I wanted to, or I can view the lobby, and this would show on the right-hand side that Ron or anyone else is in that waiting room. And I do have the choice here to admit them here or deny. Now, before I let anyone into this meeting, I might want to share my content first. So to do that, I would click on share. I've got options here to share my desktop, to share my window, or to share a PowerPoint file, or even a whiteboard. Uh, for this example, I'm gonna click browse. So I'm gonna to browse to a PowerPoint file. I'm gonna upload from my computer. I've got a PowerPoint file here, so click open. 
And what this will do, this will load the PowerPoint presentation within Microsoft Teams. And this is the recommended way of presenting your PowerPoint presentation. If I click on this I here, this will stop people from navigating through my presentation. So only I can control this presentation. The other options you've got available is you've got a chat window. And this reminded me that Ron's still waiting in the lobby. I think I can admit him now, let's let him in. There's also a raised hand feature here. So this allows people to raise their hand if they've got a question. Got more options. One of the options here to bring to your attention is start recording. So I could start recording this meeting if I wanted to. I can also switch on my webcam. I can mute myself or I can choose to leave or end this meeting. Just going back to participants. If I wanted to make Ron the presenter, then I can. Just a matter of clicking on more options and I can make him a presenter. I also have the option to remove him if he was misbehaving. And then the spotlight option, if he was on webcam, I can make him the spotlight for everyone so he'd be the focal point within the window in itself for everybody. Other options you've got available is up here. If I click more options, I can go back to manage permissions and I've also got the option to download an attendance list. And this will download it into an Excel spreadsheet. Going back to more options, Another useful option is meeting notes. If you want to learn more about meeting notes, then watch this video here or watch the video that YouTube is suggesting. And I will see you in the next video.